Corruption at the Capitol was an enduring theme during the state legislature's 2015 session. The year ending, of course, with the convictions of its top two leaders, Dean Skellis and Sheldon Silver. The new session began today, and already questions are being asked about ways to curb corruption this year. Kimberly Howard took a look at several options that were discussed today. She joins us now from our Capitol Bureau with just what they were and their chances, I guess. Kimberly? Well, listen, Greg, there's a bunch of ethics proposals that we've heard time and again, bills that have maybe passed one house but not the other. Today, the government groups are saying no more excuses, and it seems like lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are listening. And with that, the 2016 legislative session is underway. Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty wasting no time getting to one issue that's taken the spotlight, public corruption. Make no mistake, over the coming weeks, discussions around proposals on ethics will be a priority of this House. Good government groups are calling on lawmakers to sign a clean conscience pledge, commit to passing a package of reforms that includes closing the so-called LLC loophole, a law that allows corporations to hide behind limited liability companies and then contribute to campaigns at a much higher Higher rates. We don't think that those companies should be treated any differently than any other business. Uh, and that's a, those are campaign contributions that are often shrouded in secrecy and at the heart of both scandals with Skelos and Silver. The LLC loophole, sure, we'll close that, but let's talk about the other side as well and limiting what the unions can put in to uh, campaigns. Because if you're going to limit ostensibly one side of the aisle, you have to limit the other side. It's both sides of the aisle that have been rocked by corruption. The federal convictions of Democratic Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver and Republican Senate Majority Leader Dean Skelos still fresh on everyone's minds. Both trials prompted questions about lawmakers' outside income. The public, number one, can't stand a corrupt politician. But what's running a close second is career politicians. In this body, because of the diversity of where individuals have educated themselves, where they've lived, what they've done in their careers, and what they continue to do in their careers is important to the overall success of how we represent the state of New York. Other ethics proposals being floated include more transparency when it comes to spending taxpayer money and fairness, bring in term limits. The other thing is we need to eliminate the pensions of those that have been convicted for public corruption. So nothing earth shattering uh, that was achieved today, really just a formality. All eyes now on next Wednesday when Governor Cuomo will give his combined State of the State and budget address. We're live at the Capitol, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.